All right, we're told that already all the major airports in this country have uh, implemented standards to keep things safer. We don't know what they are. Uh, maybe this guy does. Uh, Congressman Scott Perry from the fine state of Pennsylvania, House Homeland Security Committee member. Um, Congressman, I know you can't give away top secrets, but we're told the airports have already implemented security measures. Like what? I know lines were longer a lot of airports in this country. Is that part of it? Are they changing the, the drop-off zones at airports? What? I'm sure there's a panoply, uh, Neil, of different things. Uh, but I, I think the bigger issue, quite honestly, is, is that, as usual, the terrorists do what they do, and then law-abiding citizens suffer because of it. And instead of being reactionary, I'd like to see us be more proactive and stop this. We don't have, we don't have a strategy. You know, I, I listened to the president today. He said he condemns these violent attacks. And, of course, we all do. But that condemnation, I'm sure, I'm sure those ISIS folks and those Islamist extremists, are, you know, they're considering their next attack. And with that condemnation, they're thinking, well, we better not do that. Or, or we're going we're gonna to help bring them to justice. Neil, these people blow themselves up. That, that, that they blow themselves up in the attack. So sending them to the pokey for uh, to, to maximum security to be with their buds for 20 years, I, I don't see that as a much of a deterrent. I think the president just completely underestimates the circumstance and what needs to be done to be proactive and protect Americans and not inconvenience us for the sake of these terrorists. But you know what's disturbing about the latest attacks in Brussels? They were not very well telegraphed. Nothing right. that we would get on chatter, whatever that is, Nothing via phones or technology, the kind of stuff that we had that in large part was being pieced together in Paris for the attacks, too little too late. None of that. In, so in, this in is Brussels. one of the issues what are we, we discussed. We discussed this issue particularly in Homeland Security, Neil, which is the dark web. It's, it is that encrypted space on our phones, different applications which terrorists have now moved to to, to do their communication. Well, There's really had, no way to Didn't they lose these throwaway phones or something like that, the technology that usurps all that? Yeah, you know. Well, but there are, the, there are the applications that you can transmit. It doesn't hit a server. Immediately, gotcha. uh, the information's gone, and it can't be retrieved. And so it's just instant communication. And that's how the, we can see this as a well-coordinated attack with multiple facets. And it is very concerning that there was no chatter up front, except for the fact that maybe the, the individual that was caught was, was talking, and it might have moved the timeline up on the attack, hmm. which is also concerning. Congressman, the, the, the large questions that continue to rise here, and, and now they're all but impossible to ignore, and, and that is the fact that our intelligence community over the course of 15 years has not been able to locate, identify, and then with the military prosecute the destruction of our enemy. That is the essence of what has to be done here. I think we all agree. Uh, and the reality is we're nowhere near that uh, horizon. Uh, and this president seems frankly indifferent uh, to achieving that goal. Well, I would agree with you in part and disagree in part. I think that we have the ability, our intelligence service, our law enforcement, and our military services have the ability well, to me, conduct let, that. Let me change it then. Demonstrated sure. ability. Right. Well, well, they can't. They take orders, right? Ours is to do and die, mm -hmm. not to question why. We have a commander in chief, and he he has to make the order, and, and the strategy has to be his. He sets the strategy, the tactic, techniques, and procedures. No, no, are, I understand. Are carried out. I understand command and control. What, what I'm saying to you is that if there is no effect from all that we are doing, working, spending, tremendously talented people serving the nation, if there is no result, and we are fighting a group of terrorists uh, over the course of 15 years without being able to declare victory in either Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, you name it. Uh, we have to have the courage to say we failed and we need to redress uh, all that is uh, impeding our ability to be victorious, right? Well, I would agree with you. It seems like as, as this is going to continue and we, we get, become used to these attacks, the markets don't even react, that they indeed are winning and whatever we're doing, if you want to call it, we have a failed strategy, we have no strategy, whatever we're doing clearly is not working. It's not having the effect. Now, what we don't know, with all due respect, is, is how many have been thwarted, right? Because we understand and we're told daily about how many plots have been thwarted by law enforcement, by DOD, by special operations and intelligence. So that's hard to quantify but at the same time thoughts and prayers go out once again this evening to the people in this tragedy in Brussels the, the senseless loss of life and our in, seemingly inability uh, to affect it and to stop it all right thank you congressman very very much